In a nutshell, what we have is a transmission electron microscope that can take nine images in one microsecond. That required a little bit of engineering to overcome some of the nonlinearities in there. So it was an undertaking of three years to get a stable la uh, laser platform that was high energy, very flexible, that we can um, take na design uh, nanosecond to microsecond pulses and pulse trains that extend over a temporal window of 250 microseconds. What that lets us see is the fundamental processes that are actually happening in nanotechnology. So in these kinds of phase change memories, we can watch individual nucleation and growth events of single crystals form and expand in an amorphous material. We don't have to artificially slow things down, we don't have to sort of quench things and hope that we captured them in some, some final state and just look at a before and after. We can see before, during, 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 multiple durings and after and see the evolution of very complicated things in one-time events. Really, the team um, had a little bit of overlap, but everyone had sort of a specific complementary component in this. And I think without any of them, you know, if you take one team member out there, I don't think this project would have, uh, would have worked as well. So it was really a, a group effort, and uh, each member had an important part in it. We're signing up people from all over the world who want to come and work with us and, and, and use this thing and, and see what's going on. In fact, most of our, uh, most of our work is actually done through collaborations with, with universities and industrial partners. We, we don't have the manpower locally to do everything we want to do with this machine. There's too much. Mm -hmm.